Let's record. All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. <laughs> welcome, Doc, Karen, and Becca. <laughs> and anybody else that decides to um, do the recording afterward. Um, so welcome. We're going to be creating this colored pencil nectarines drawing. Everything is in the chat. Um, as far as the colors, we have about 11 colors, I think we figured out. Um, but first, we're going to be using our pencil. Um, this is on eight and a half by 11 paper. You can do it smaller. Um, I just know that a lot of people like to use this paper because it helps them feel like they can spread out if they have to. Um, but if you have five by seven paper, that's fine, too. Um, okay, so we are going to get started here with our pencil, and I'm going to show you a copy of sort of what we want to accomplish with the drawing part of it. So, basically what we're doing is we're making the, the shapes, making sure that um, they look like they're also sitting on something, right? Like a table or something. And then we've got a very light drawing of the shadows. And that's what we're going to be doing first. And then we're going to go right to our color. So everything is really done with the color, all of the striping, um, all of that. So it's really using a lot of um, what's called mark making. Um, and also pressure, light pressure with colored pencils. It's always best to use um, light pressure and then build up slowly. So let's get started with this. So we're gonna start in the middle of our page and I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit because I think I'm not completely in, there we are. Okay, much better. All right, so. We're gonna start in the middle of our page here and you're gonna go lightly. Mine is always a bit darker so that it shows up on Zoom. But basically we're gonna start with a sort of a circle that is laying on its side. So we're starting with the one on the left and it's almost cut like a heart shape up top. Like this is gonna be the top that's laying on the table. And we're going upward, back around. And then we're gonna kind of half it here like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be drawing our sort of other part of the nectarine. It's gonna go like this, and actually it's going to kind of slant a little bit. And then it's gonna go right into sort of the center part. And that's where we will draw our stem. It's gonna look a bit like this. So I'll let you get caught up. I know I went a little fast there. And then obviously you can erase the line in the stem that we used to draw the center part of the nectarine. Move that up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna come back down to the bottom left here and we're gonna see that this part of the nectarine kind of falls where the center part is. And so it's a little bit of a line down at the bottom, a curved line. And there's a slight point until it starts to go back a little bit. And I'm just kind of pointing to this part that it's kind of a little bit of a point. And then we're gonna start 
with the next shape of our half nectarine. Let me move my paper over just a little bit here. I'm actually going to put it right above. Okay, so our next nectarine is split open. We're drawing the bottom part for now that's on the table or ledge. And so we're drawing sort of the shape outside shape. And it's going to come in sort of to a point. Actually, you want to make your point a little closer to the left here. So this is the open part of the nectarine. And we're going to reshape the edge here and make it more heart shaped. So it's going to kind of come in like this. And if you notice, the heart shape, because it's a little further away, this one is smaller than this one. We're going to then also adjust underneath as well, but I wanted to kind of have you draw something that looked a little bit, a little bit like the nectarine, the top part. And then we're going to go on the inside before we fix the outside. So we're going to come right over here because we're now going to draw the shape or the area where the seed is going to sit in. So we're gonna start at the top here. And then we're gonna to start to kind of do a little bit of a curvy line on this other side to indicate the shape of the seed. And we'll come back and get more specific with it. But for now, it's gonna be sort of shaped like this. You know, a little bit pointy down here, a little bit wider up here, and a bit flatter here. Okay, and now we're going to erase this part over here because we're going to make it look a little more three-dimensional. First, we're going to draw the part of the stem that's kind of sticking out here. And it's going to look a little something like this, a little three-dimensional, and I'm going to zoom in on that. And now we're gonna go and make the rest of this part. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off at the stem. We're gonna move out. And then we're gonna create it to kind of look, it's almost gonna be apple-like. So it's gonna be curved 
and kind of come out to meet the other side on that side. And now we have this side and it's also gonna come around. And what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a bit more round over here. And then it's gonna get thinner as it goes toward this side, but it's also gonna hug a little bit using a wavy line toward the bottom part of the nectarine because our nectarine is sliced open. And then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna fix this line a little bit and just make it a little bit more wavy at the bottom. So I'm gonna kind of lightly erase it. And then we're just gonna kind of wave it around in this section. And we're gonna do the same on this side too. So you wanna kinda erase that line and then make it just a little bit wavy before it gets to the top here. And then we're gonna finish off this side. And it's just gonna be kind of a little bit flat as it goes up. And then you may have to fix this other side to make it a little bit behind this bump. like so. And then our last part is gonna be just sketching in our shadows here. Just adjust this a little bit. So our shadows are gonna come from the left side and they're basically mimicking the shape of the shape we drew. So there's one. And you can tell my pencil line is lighter than the actual drawing. We're also going to be erasing or lightening up our lines for the drawing too. And then our next shadow shape is a bit lighter until it comes to about you know, this edge, but we'll deal with that when we start to layer those colors. And I'm gonna start going closer now that we have our drawing. So our next step is going to be lightening everything up because then we're gonna retrace everything in our orange, or actually our red, I'm sorry. We're gonna use our dark red to retrace these lines after you erase them. So when you're ready, you wanna retrace over all of your lines using your dark red. Even the, um, even the shadows, 
but really light, you know, we're doing everything light for right now. And as far as the seed goes, we're actually going to go into the seed and we're going to start to make some of the sort of indents that are in the seed. So what I mean by that is we're going to start making it bumpy and kind of, I feel like it kind of looks like a brain. <laughs> I think you've seen pictures of a brain. It's kind of like, you know, sort of clumpy like this, making different sections inside the shape that we're that we're in here like this. And then some little kind of little mark markings like that. And then you can continue tracing around the rest of your nectarine. Again, this is in the dark red. Because then we're going to erase our pencil lines. And they will erase right underneath our, or I'm sorry, the, um, the colored pencil lines will remain. And the pencil lines will be erased. Of course, this is also where you get to see if you accidentally didn't draw a part. <laughs> I've done that before. Okay, so now we're going to start shading very lightly with our dark red. We're going to start first in our shadows. And so I'm holding my pencil kind of at the tip, not really the tip, but a little bit down from the tip so that I have more control. And then basically, I'm just going to shade very lightly back and forth inside the first shadow. So even the shadows have different pressure to them. So for instance, this first one, it's a little bit, a little bit more color here on the right side and then a little bit along the edge on the left kind of bump. So take your time because then the next one you're going to shade very lightly but then we'll go over where it's a little darker and shadows are really a combination of colors. Even though they look black, they're a combination of a bunch of colors to make them look black. And so what we do is we layer very lightly all of those colors in order to get like, it's gonna look kind of grayish black. We are gonna add black at the end too, but. So what I'm doing now is just shading a little more inside the shadow. And there's even a little bit more 
right on this other side here. But again, I'm still keeping it very light and shadow-like. The other thing is you can change direction when you're shading. So I know it's very natural to um, want to fill in the space and have it look even. And so people naturally go darker and heavier in the same direction. But instead, what you want to do is you then want to switch directions in your shading. So if you're shading like this left to right, and you want to be a little darker, I then move my hand and shade left to right this way. And I'm still able to shade in that area without making it too dark, but shading so that I'm filling in all the white space. The other thing you can do is you can go in little circles and shade. So that's two other ways that you can shade something and let it be filled more with color, but not as dark as far as um, the pressure. And then our next step is we're gonna go inside the nectarine, the first one here. And we're actually gonna go in the dark part. And we're gonna fill that in with the dark red. We're not going very dark, but we're going darker than we have so far because we want that to read like it's, kind of, um, you know, recessed. There we are. And then we're even gonna now shade the um, stem here. And we're gonna go very lightly with the red on one side. So we're doing everything right now with the red, our first layer. And we're gonna start kind of sectioning off some of the sort of stripey parts in red. So here I'm making sure that I don't color in this one stripe because that's going to be yellow. And also you wanna start having your marks kind of curve to indicate that your fruit is curving. The other thing here is we have a lot of yellow happening in some of these spots. So we're gonna take that red and kind of skip parts because we're gonna go back and fill that with yellow. So when you're finished with making these lines, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to shade very lightly here at the bottom and kind of toward the edge. See, everything's very light right now. And then when you start to go on the other part, you're also going to very lightly make some stripey red areas. and then shade just a little bit towards the bottom.
And then the second half here, we lightly shade using lines, very light, kind of wispy red lines for now. And then we're gonna switch over to this nectarine. And first we're gonna go on the inside toward the edge and we're gonna make these little lines to indicate you know, that it's the skin. Those lines are gonna kind of go towards the seed. And then we come around on the other side and do the same. And then we're gonna shade on the skin the part closest to us. And when you get to the top part of where this top area is supposed to be of the nectarine, you wanna make sure that you're curving your lines with your shading. And we're also going to go a little bit darker shading right around the stem. So that it looks like the stem is inside sort of that center part. And then we have a part that we're gonna add with shading, which is this top part that we're gonna add a little bit darker, like so. Then we're gonna put our dark red down and we're gonna grab our golden yellow. And our golden yellow, we're gonna do this very lightly because we're gonna come back and we're gonna use it again. But for now, what we wanna do is just lightly shade over everything, including the stems with our golden yellow, but it's gonna be a light shading. So you wanna be able to tell that it's golden yellow, but you don't wanna press so hard because we're still gonna be layering our orange, our brown, are white even. We don't wanna go into the shadow with this, just both nectarines. And so both nectarines, meaning the skin, the seed, the, um, you know, on top of the red that you've shaded, the whole thing. And it doesn't matter what direction you go in right now. We just wanna fill in the first layer. And we're not trying to make anything um, darker yet with the yellow. We're just covering or adding, I should say, another layer. So that basically your drawing will have depth because of all the layers. And in order to build up all the colors, 
you have to go lightly at first because there is wax in these and if it gets too waxy then the colors will just lay on top and they won't color together especially if you're using Crayola which I'm using Crayola um, they are cheaper pencils um, nice and vivid which is what's great about them but you just have to know that they have some binder in them that makes them very waxy so you have to go lighter and it's you have to go lighter with all colored pencils when you're building up color anyway so once you have that yellow down we're going to grab our orange oops camera went out of focus there we go so we're going to grab our orange and now we're going to start making things a little bit darker. So we're going to start off on the nectarine over here. And we're going to go on top of the red. And we're now going to start to make it look like that, you know, we're adding this orange. And we're going to start adding the stripes even more and making the separations. So we're kind of paying attention to, you know, where the stripes are. And where there's some solid color almost. And the sum of the solid color is right near sort of the, um, toward where the stem is on this one. So we're now just kind of filling in still lightly, but a little darker than we did with the yellow. We're filling in with the orange. And we're kind of going in sections here. And again, we're not worried too much yet about going darker because we're going to come back to it and add some more shading where we go a little darker. So there are some parts that are kind of spotted, which is right here. And the way that you handle those I'm gonna kinda put this up close, is right along here, you start to kinda leave out spots of orange so that the yellow kinda shines through. Like this. Go get closer. It's almost like you're coloring in little dots. And also the dots are kind of in a line too. Almost like you're creating a dotted line, I guess. And I'm following this dotted line is also kind of curving back toward the nectarine, toward the top. Now, again, this is just, I don't know, this is our third layer. Yeah. So we're not as dark as we need to be, and that's okay, because we're building it up. So right now we are building up some of the orangey parts. And as we get toward the bottom, you can start to do a bit more shading.
if you're curious where to shade, you know, keep looking up to see where I'm going a little bit darker. And then we're going to get into the skin of the next one with our orange. And we are making, you know, light orange all around, especially going up against, this is on the outside skin. We're going to continue making sort of curved lines curved orange lines, but you can shade around this part a little bit with your orange. But we leave the top of the nectarine still with the yellow, but you can see there's some light striping using the orange. And then we go around the other side and add a little bit of orange. And then we're gonna add some orange on top of the red along the edge here. And then we're gonna go inside the seed or first around the seed, because then we're gonna make kind of this stripey section all around and it's kind of shaded at the same time. It's almost like sunbursts, the lines going all around the seed on the one side. Sometimes the lines are getting a little bit wider. And then right at the top of the seed, we color that a little bit as we start to go around the other side. And we're going to do a little shading, just very light shading with the orange inside the seed. And basically, we're shading on the parts, the curved parts that are kind of making the shapes, all the bumps. And also on the skin part at the tip here of the seed. So you can see how little by little it's starting to take focus, but it's not there yet, but it's getting there. And you're also gonna take this orange and then you're gonna go along the edges of the inside the skin. You're kind of shading, but making little lines. All in the inside of the skin staying toward the outside. And 
when you're done with that, you're gonna grab your white. And we're gonna go and add some white along the edge of this nectarine, this curve, like so. And we're gonna we're gonna come back and, and burnish with it, something called burnishing. But for now, we're just gonna add white to this curve. You're not gonna be able to see it too much, but we'll come back and layer another color on there, a pink. And then you're also gonna use your white kind of along the edge of this part of the nectarine. And you're gonna make little lines with the white along this part of the edge. So just along that part. And then the other part's gonna be on this side where we kind of trace around the curve. So you can see me going back and forth. And then we'll come back with the white when we're done. So you can put that aside and we're actually gonna grab our pink. And our pink, we're gonna go inside our shadow again and we're now gonna shade over the entire shadows in pink. But we're gonna now pay attention to how dark we should start going in some of the areas. We never go really dark at all, but we add a little more pink toward the two corners, sort of the rounded parts of the shadows on this side the one furthest from us. And then we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna add the pink closer to the bottom part or where the darkest part of the shadow is. And you're going right on top of the red. kind of in this one section on this part of the shadow. And we're still gonna hold on to our pink because we're gonna go inside our nectarine and we're gonna go on the bottom part of this side of the nectarine or this nectarine right here. And the part will be colored white. You're also gonna put pink on top of that. And then we're gonna add a little bit of pink on top of the orange and red that we created on this part of the nectarine. So we're not going on all of the yellow. We're kind of just going on the pink or the sort of the reddish parts. And same on the other nectarine, where we're gonna really concentrate a little more on the skin, on the outside part of the skin. We're gonna add the pink to that. And you can start to get a little bit darker. Just by shading in that area. And we're also gonna go inside along 
this edge of the nectarine where I'm going here on this side and shading a little darker using the pink. And when you're ready, you're gonna grab your purple. So we're gonna go in the shadows first. So now we're really gonna pay attention to where we're making it darker, but we're not adding pressure. So this is how we're gonna make our shadow a little darker. We're gonna go underneath or nectarine. And then we're going to start shading on the outer edge, but still inside in this corner of the curve where this is purple. So we're adding purple to that part of the curve. And we're going to follow it a little bit to the center. We're still staying on the curve part. And then we're gonna jump over and we're gonna add the purple to this curved part. And we're gonna start to then go down toward the other part of the nectarine. Like so. Again, we're just shading on top of everything and we're still going light. We're just shading in those directions. And you can kind of see how the color is getting built up and it's starting to look darker. But if you're doing it, um, you know, very lightly, it's still looking like a shadow. So that's the first shadow. And you can even go a little bit and trace a little bit of the edge of the shadow here with this purple, like this. See how I traced a little bit of the edge. And then we're gonna get into the next one. You're gonna trace just a little bit and add a little bit of the purple on this side, but then you're gonna mostly go on the other side. And you're kind of gonna trace the curve of the next nectarine on the shadow part. And then you're going to start to fill it in a little darker, still using our purple here. But you're still not going really dark with your pressure. You're just concentrating that color in this section. So we're just kind of filling in that space. Using our purple. 
And we're kind of expanding the color a little bit, but it's lightening up as we get toward the center of the shadow here. So I'm really lightening up here. And then our next color is going to be grabbing our red. Well, you know what? Before we grab the red, let's grab our green, our light green. I'm going to make sure to get some light green, specifically in this nectarine. So our green is going to be at the bottom of the skin. And again, this is just very light for now. And then it's also going to be on the other side, all around. You can start to apply some pressure. So we're in the skin, I mean, it gets a little bit darker, sort of up at the top here, where the curves are. And then even inside our um, stem here. And then at the top, kind of in these, you know, wispy lines curving around the top part here. A little bit along the edge on this part, the inside skin. And then we're finally going to just add a little bit in the seed and the parts where you want to add it are kind of where we added sort of the orange shading so you can add the green kind of right on top of there Put our green down for a bit. And we are going to get into our red and our orange because we're going to start darkening everything up. So this is just regular red and our orange. And first what we're gonna do with our red is we're gonna start to trace around the outside on the left side of this nectarine. So you're still going light, but you're tracing sort of the outside and you can continue and trace the whole thing now including the half part and the little bumps here.
and then we're going to start to trace the next one where all the bumps are happening, where the skin is. And then we're going to go into this part of our of our nectarine and we're going to start to get darker right in the center here like this with our red and we're going to come out of that and we're going to start to make some darker stripe areas. So here is one. And basically we want to get the darkest kind of around some of the edges. So now we're going to follow sort of the edge around here. using this red. And then, as you can see, I only kind of almost made like a small shaded line here because we're, we wanna start to make little shaded lines coming from those to make it look like it's patchy. So we're now gonna continue making this tiny sort of shaded red around the edge about right here because there's a lot of yellow happening around this one section. And we're going to start now to make the curved lines darker. But still letting the yellow shine through. So what you'll be doing is you'll be kind of going around, shading with the red, almost like in lines. Sometimes going a little bit lighter. And again, if you're kind of confused, you know, take a look up. As I start to, you know, make some of the red a little darker in the next section, in clumps. You know, as you go around the edge here, you're going to stick to this bottom part using darker red and then going up against where it kind of halves a little bit. That's in that one area. And then we're going to work in the second area here when you're ready. And we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to get a little bit light shading again at the top here. So we're using the red, but we're using it and we're kind of shading 
now on top of the yellow very lightly in this section. And we're going to get a little bit, a little bit darker as we start to go around here. Now we're staying kind of at the top of this nectarine, but we're going to start to get darker again. So we create sort of these separated lines that we don't fill them in yet. They're sort of dotted lines. We're kind of starting to make the, you know, the, you know, it's almost like patchwork. And there's a shine to the bottom of this nectarine. So we leave this part alone. Remember, we did that with white. And so, we don't fill that in with color right now. We also want to be aware of the next part of the nectarine. So you can kind of outline it in red right there. And then you can get a little darker with your coloring because there's a shadow right in this part. And we're gonna to start to get a little darker here at the bottom. We're going to add a little bit of dark right in this part. We're going to jump on over to the other one as we are heading towards finishing. So we're going to start off on the outside skin, on the side closest to us and what we're going to do is we're going to curve around and make individual stripes again curvy stripes but we are going darker with those stripes so we're making the shape and it kind of almost looks like an apple you know like when an apple is cut open so we're making some of these curved lines on this side. And it's gonna be the darkest right up against where it's leaning, you know, on the ground or table, whatever. And then you're also gonna come cross and start making some of those lines. And on the other side, you're going to start making some of the red lines inside the skin too. And up at the top of the nectarine on the other part of the skin. And there's even like a red shadow coming behind the um, stem. And 
and we're making little curvy lines coming from beside the stem to make it look like it's curving around. And then we're going to go inside where, right along where the seed is. And at the bottom, we're going to make that a little darker. And on the other side as well. And we're going to kind of shape it a little bit more where it looks like it's a little pointy. the edge and you're going to start to you know go even darker with your red lines around your seed and especially at the top of the seed you want to kind of trace to make that line make it look like the seed is sitting inside the um, skin. And then you're gonna take your red and you're gonna make the lines a little bit kind of fuzzier and darker in the separations of the seed. And then you're going to start to add kind of random sort of red individual lines around the inside the skin. And a little more concentrated on the other side. And then we're going to grab our brown. We're going to start darkening up. So we're going to go to the center again of where the inside is. And we're going to make it dark. And we're also now going to go and add brown to the stem. And we're going to start to kind of color using this brown, kind of coloring in the section where it's kind of coming out of the area here and we're going to start to make some brown lines on top of the red lines so you're going to color brown around this section because it would be dark kind of in this section here and you're going to start to add some brown stripey lines as well. 
but not on the yellow. You're also going to come around the bottom part here, again on top of the red, and color that a little bit with the brown. We're basically darkening up the brown, I mean the red, with this brown. Just adding a little bit of dark to it. And then we're going to go a little bit on the yellow on this side and lightly shade the brown on top of the yellow. But when you're done that, you're going to go back to the red area toward the edge here, the bottom of the nectarine on both sides and you're going to color in on top of the red using your brown and along the split also using your brown And we have some brown also on this side where we're just adding a little bit on top of the yellow. And then also on the red, it separates the next, um, the next nectarine here. We're going to go to the next nectarine. Oops. And we're going to start to add brown. My brown just broke. <laughs> So we're going to trace around this nectarine using the brown on this side closest to us. So we're tracing around the edge of the nectarine using the brown. And then you're going to add some brown lines on top of the red on the skin on this side. And you're gonna hop over to where the stem is. You're gonna outline the stem in brown and also kind of start to color the one side to make it look like there's a shadow there. And you can add some little kind of curved brown lines on top of the yellow. And we're gonna finally go to the seed one more time and kind of outline some parts 
along the seed, kind of like the outside of the seed, where it's sitting in the nectarine. And you can then lightly shade all over the seed in brown, just like really light. And also adding some kind of lines of brown on top of the red as it goes around the seed is nice too. When you're ready, we're going to take our blue. But before we take our blue, just realize this, we're going to take our yellow. And we're going to really concentrate the color of yellow now on top of both of our nectarines. To really brighten up the yellow through all of those colors. And you're gonna see the color come alive. You're going to do it on both of them and the seed as well. Especially in the inside skin, you can still leave some white of the paper, kind of just almost like scribbling some of the color on there. And then you're going to take your blue and we're going to go inside the shadows. And we're going to start along the edge here and sort of do a little bit of an outline. And then we're going to get a little bit darker just right along the edge here. This is with the blue. And we're going to kind of outline with the blue in this shadow to the other side. And then add more blue on top of the purple on the other side. But again, we're never we're never getting darker with our pressure. We just keep coloring in the same area to make it more of that color. This is the one shadow. When we get into the next shadow, we do just a little bit of some blue 
on this part, but then on the other side, we're gonna outline the shadow just a little bit, not outline like a thick outline. And we're gonna get pretty dark. along this area. And we're still gonna keep coloring in using this blue, but getting a little lighter as we go toward the center of the shadow. And then we're finally gonna go on the nectarines with the blue. And we're gonna go in the center. So this is our first shadow. We're gonna go in the center here on top of the red and the brown. And we're gonna go in where the dark part is where the, um, the stem is coming out of. We're gonna start to add a little bit now on top of the red on this side. We're gonna stay close to sort of the you know, the center part here of the nectarine. Because that's where some of our dark parts would be. And there's another dark part here where it's leaning up against the other nectarine. And then we're gonna go on the other nectarine and closest to us, you're gonna add some blue shading along the edge of the skin, closest to where it's sort of resting on its side. And then at the top in that crevice, right here at the top, you're gonna add some blue. And our last color is gonna be our black. So our black, we're gonna go inside our shadow for the last time. And we're gonna add some black shading, very light, on top of the entire shadow. Obviously there's parts that are lighter. So you just go over that light part just very lightly, just adding to it. And then as the parts get darker, you add a little bit darker black. Again, not with pressure, just by going over it. In that area. And you're gonna do the same. Shadow in the next one except there really isn't much black on the left side, just a little bit kind of in this area. But then 
as you get towards the right side here, you can start to press on the shadow part just in this one area to get it really dark. You also want to kind of hug around the round part of it, making it dark, but then you want to start lightening up. We're kind of doing a gradient, the black on top of the purple and the pink and the red, all those colors that we added. And our black is the finishing touches of dark on our nectarines. So a little bit of shading on the edge of the bump on this one. And then again in the middle where the, um, the stem is on top of the blue. We're gonna add a little more depth with the black. And you can make this kind of little, kind of curvy part. It's gonna make it look like, you know, it's going around. Not just that little curved line there. And then I like to also go around the seed, that kind of line around the seed. And then also shade again around the last stem. of the other nectarine. There's a little bit of a shadow here that you can shade underneath the stem. And that's our colored pencil nectarine drawing. And I'm going to remove my spotlight. And you guys can unmute. And if you want to show me yours, I would love to see. Well, well, well. Wow. The shadows did me in yet again. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking those shadows. Yeah, I like shadows. But... Oh my gosh. Hold uh, on, let's see. That's good. All that's right, good. hold on, let's see. Oh, it's great, Karen. Oh, no, oh my gosh. But, and then, let me see. Mine looks, mine looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> All right, hold on, Becca. I'm adding your spotlight. Let's see. <gasps> oh, no, that's pretty. I like your coloring. Yeah. The colors on yours are pretty. I think it, I don't know what I did there. <laughs> I think with Very, the, um, very Georgia O'Keefe. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. No, I think with the seed, maybe a, a few more like Wiggle. medium. Yeah. Yeah, like in the middle. Because I think I went too dark around that. Yeah, that's all. Just make those pop the squiggles a little more. Yeah. I do like color pencil. I do too. I do, I do too. I feel like it's a very forgiving medium. <laughs> yeah. It's it's yeah. And I love when the layers pop. When we did that yellow, 
Yeah. It just a little bit. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm going to add some more to mine. Yeah. Oh, my maybe, gosh. Maybe oh, a little yes. bit more black around them. Yeah. I, I made the inside, um, that seed, just a little too dark. And then yeah. maybe if I just make the, sometimes just playing around with it. Is, yeah. I know. Like, that was fun. Yeah, it yeah. was. You know, I get it's so like all I do is I hear your voice and I tune everything else out. Yes. Like, everything yes. shuts down. Oh, it's, a, it's like so meditative or something. Oh I love God. that you asked, you kept reminding us to look up because you know what? I don't. I, it's yeah. hard. I just keep my nose down and keep on going. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Find the outside a little bit more too. So. Oh, yeah, that looks oh, really oh. good. But it yes. still looks like a pumpkin to me. Well, except for the stem, but it was fun. I mean, it just it to me, it's just the process, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's that beautiful. Piece. I really like how it pops though at the end. You know that yellow really. Woo, yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, and that's why it's so important not to go bright. You know, too dark at first because yes. it won't work. Yeah. If you know everything else is dark. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hard because you think it's darker or there's more color and you have to apply pressure, but it's really just layer after layer, layering, layering. And, you know, some people don't like that. You know, like I have a friend who she's very impatient and, you know, she's an artist and she's, she's like, I could never, she's like, I could never do the colored pencil. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh uh, yeah. That it. to me is, I love that too. Yeah. 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 I think it's relaxing. It's like those, um, remember when those coloring books were in? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes I would just you know we'd be watching tv and I would kind of color at the same time <laughs> I hear you well thank you for the semi-private lesson this was absolutely this was uh you're welcome color Sorry. pencil among friends yeah and, uh, exactly. and Doc, we will get make sure we get your the recording I'm sure, you yeah and everybody else will do the recording um, yes yeah. yes yeah. so well, thank, thank you, ladies. Them. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Again. It was fun. As always. So when is your trip, Karen? We leave on the 30th and we get home on the on the 10th in the morning. We're actually doing a red eye, which we've never done before. So that'll oh, be wow. fun. <laughs> wow. But you do what you have to do, right? You yeah, do what you yeah. got to do. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Oh, it's going to be fun. It will it's be. Nice. It will be. Yeah. So, but I'm going to get myself registered because I want that recording. It looks like a cute one. This oh, yeah. Course. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I would send it to you anyway. <laughs> and I'll look forward to um, any fall ones you send our way so we can get started on the fall. Yep. They are going to be towards the end of this month. I'm working okay. on those You're diligently right. and they will be out by June right. 30th or whatever, whatever that date is. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. And Karen, I sent you. I sent you a video. Of oh, um, Paige's reaction to her birthday. Oh, to the yeah. gift you gave her. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll show. Right. I my husband and I made our daughter-in-law. Uh, you have to see you this. Stopped 